Hi, this is Ryan at Rad Ideas with another Easter marketing quick win. Now in our last time we talked about invites, specifically print invites and social graphics that you could share with your church so that they could be your advocates in the community and in helping to invite people to your Easter services. And today we're going to talk about signage. Now I know signage is something that sometimes gets a bad rap and people don't want to think about it. But here's your quick win is that you want to keep Easter information front of mind with posters on the walls and banners on the corner. Now why is that? Well the reality is as much as we want it to be different Sunday announcements aren't remembered for more than just a few minutes so the people in the room aren't necessarily absorbing everything you're saying but more than that your community members won't know what you have planned for Easter unless you tell them and for many of them all they're doing is driving by your building so you've got to keep summarized information in front of people both the internal portion of your church and externally for your community members. So a way you can do that really easily and for a fairly low cost is to print some 8.5 by 11 standard size paper posters and hang them around campus with information about Easter. So people keep engaging this information. It can be on bulletin boards, it can be hanging on doors of Sunday classrooms, that type of thing, ways that people can interact with it. And the other is to display uh, half sheet flyers throughout the lobby. I've seen some churches just set them in stacks on something. They're maybe on the, with the welcome center. Other churches I've seen uh, put them in plexiglass little holders so they look like a a little sign kind of like you'd see at a restaurant sitting you know at the table just ways that people can continue to engage that information and you keep it in front of them and those pieces of print really need to just be specific it's not the place to articulate everything about Easter you want to have your branding so the imagery that's consistent for that visual connection the date the time the location of course uh, if there's some child care information and then make sure you got a website link for people to get more information that's where they're gonna get the bulk of the info you want to share is send them back to your website so when you think about signage what do I mean by that well the most cost-effective way is to hang vinyl banners on the street corner and there's several different types of vinyl that are that are available for this um, because it's a relatively short lifespan you don't have to go with the super expensive kind uh, but your best options are going to be three foot by six foot or four foot by six four to eight foot even is a great size those are large enough that you can get the lettering really tall and bold and legible so that people can read it you know as they're flying down the street 35 40 miles an hour so your signage should include really a synopsis of things because people are driving so fast you want to have the Easter branding but only if it's really clear and understandable the idea is you want people to be able to read the date time and the website link more importantly so if all else fails make the branding portion on the signage be a minimal thing so that when they drive by your church they know Easter is this service time this day here's how I get more information and why are we doing this because if we can keep Easter information front of mind with posters on the walls and banners on the corner our people are going to respond better